Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. This is Gina. I wish I were coming to you with good news about unemployment, but yesterday the Labor Department reported that 1 million new unemployment claims were filed in the U.S. over the past week. This is horrible. Yeah, it was down. That's down slightly from the week before, but it's up over previous weeks. It has either increased or remained pretty steady. And in total, 58 million Americans have filed for unemployment over the last 23 weeks since COVID took over the country. So essentially, over 2 million people a week filed new unemployment claims. These are not continuous claims. These are new. And California saw a surge for the first time in over a month. So the state had the largest one-week increase since July with over 19,000 new unemployment claims filed it just last week. So not total, just last week. Overall, there's been almost 8 million Californians that have filed for unemployment benefits since the virus really started to tick up and things started to shut down. That's insane. I know California is a huge state. You know, we have a huge, huge population here, but that's still a lot of people. And experts are speaking out. They're just rightfully, gravely concerned about not just the new unemployment claims, but the fact that so many workers have continued unemployment issues. And of course, this is due to something I've talked about here repeatedly. It's about small businesses that just can't hold on any longer. They can't do it. And they're shutting down permanently. Either that or they're just not staffing up because they don't have an influx in customers. A, a perfect example is a there's a vegan cinnamon bun chain and it was recently my birthday <laughs> so my daughter was going to go get me some because they're awesome not a health food i don't recommend them on a regular basis but every once in a while like a birthday you got to have a little treaty treat got to have a little something something so Anyway, she went to, to go get me these vegan cinnamon buns, and they told her that many of their stores are not open other than the weekend now. They used to be open seven days a week. Now they're only open Friday through Sunday. So stores like that are not going to be staffing up to full capacity, and that's happening all over the place. You know, these experts have noted that even when our unemployment numbers have dropped slightly, they remained well above the previous record high that was set back in the 80s. So back in 1982, during that recession, the highest number of weekly unemployment claims was 695,000. We are well above that, even, even on our lowest weeks. This, of course, is taking a huge toll on millions of families. We have yet another rent and mortgage payment due in just a few days. And this $300 unemployment bump that, that Trump put through with his executive order is just, it's too little too late. It's not going to cut it. People were already struggling and barely making it with the $600 a week. And they're saying that based on the funding that's available, and this was before the recent storm hit, that was only going to last about four weeks. So this was a, a temporary fix. This is another Band-Aid. And some states haven't even applied yet. I mean, very few. Most have now applied, but not all of them are approved, and they still have to make the changes to their system to allow for that extra money to go out. And then as I talked about yesterday, there's over a million people in America who won't qualify for it because they don't make enough. What the hell? It's insane. This is lunacy. You don't make enough 
you don't make even a hundred dollars a week in unemployment so we're not going to give you more to keep you afloat and help you put food on the table uh, oh my god our country is ridiculous so usa today talked to the mortgage bankers association and they told them that approximately 3.6 million homeowners are currently in forbearance plans with their lenders and for anybody who doesn't know what that means, isn't familiar with that term, that means that their mortgage companies have temporarily paused or reduced their payments. So they've come to an agreement with the homeowner to either halt their payments temporarily because they just can't afford it, or they've reduced it to where they can afford it. But the senior VP of the Mortgage Bankers Association told USA Today that their group is concerned not only about what they're seeing with unemployment claims, but the very slow pace at which homeowners are recovering and coming out of forbearance. They were expecting, as things were opening up, that more homeowners were going to start getting back on their feet and start making full payments or making a payment. And that's just not happening. It's, it's really slow going. It's barely moving from week to week. And then Oxford Economics actually said that renters are in even worse shape than homeowners. So they say that up to 15 million tenants could soon be evicted and homeless. And some rent and mortgage assistance hotlines are already experiencing a massive onslaught of calls they're complaining that they can't keep up with them. They're, they're having to bring on additional staff to keep up with how many people are calling in for assistance. So it's a mess. I have no idea why our lawmakers are currently on vacation. They have no business being on vacation. They're all being paid. They're all making almost $200,000 a year. Plus they get full benefits. They have incredible benefits while denying the rest of us, millions of people, millions of Americans who now have not only lost their jobs, but also lost their insurance because it came along with the job and they refuse Americans health insurance. They refuse Medicare for all. Meanwhile, both sides of the aisle spouting off platitudes and talking about how health insurance is a right, not a privilege. Really? Well, if you can't afford it, then by definition, it's a privilege. So this is infuriating. I am just, I'm sick of reporting this crap to you guys. It's, it's unnecessary. I don't, I, they need to stop listening to their elitist, Big money donors who are doing great, you know, the Amazons of the world, the Walmarts of the world, the Koch brothers and their ilk. Yeah, they're all doing great. Stock market is great. It, it has never been more divorced from reality. Anyway, guys, as always, like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Hopefully I'll have some good news sometime in the near future. Take care and be safe out there. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.